Okay, here we are using molarity to find solute mass and solute volume. Again, uh, we have a chemist adding 350 milliliters of a 0 0.046 millimolar potassium permanganate solution to a reaction flask. They want us to calculate the mass in milligrams of potassium permanganate that the chemist has added to the flask. Well, let's begin with our givens. Well, they give us the volume right off the bat. The volume of this solution is 350 milliliters total. And they also give me the concentration of this solution. The concentration of the solution is 0 0.046 millimoles per liter. This will be a 0 0.046 millimolar solution, is how you would say that. And they want us to find the amount of solute in 350 milliliters of a 0 0.046 millimolar solution of potassium permanganate. So they want us to find this amount of solute in however many milligrams of potassium permanganate it would be, okay? So we're gonna use the formula again for concentration, amount of solute per unit volume. Let's look at what we have. We have this, we have this. We're trying to find this, but we need it in milligrams, not moles, not grams, not kilograms, but milligrams. So let's go ahead and rearrange this formula to solve for N, and it would be N be equal to this times this. I'm multiplying both sides by V. But again, we have a problem with our units. If I multiply the concentration, which has the units of millimoles per liter, by the volume, which has the units of milliliters, the units of volume will not cancel out. Milliliters cannot cancel out liters. And so what I'm gonna to have to do is convert this from milliliters to whatever it is in liters. So that's a, another easy conversion. So 350 milliliters is 0 0.350 liters. So now, when we plug this in here, our concentration of 0 0.046 millimoles per liter times the volume of 0 0.35 liters, liters will cancel. And we are left with 0 0.0161 millimoles as the amount of potassium permanganate present. So the last thing to do would be to take this amount of potassium permanganate and convert it to milligrams for our final answer. So let's take this many millimoles of potassium permanganate and let's first convert it from millimoles to moles. So that conversion would be one millimole is 10 to the minus three moles of potassium permanganate. And then now that I have moles, I can use the molar mass to convert that to grams. So one mole of potassium permanganate has a molar mass of 158.034 grams. And then now we can go from grams to milligrams. One gram is a thousand or 10 to the three milligrams. So we, before we put this into our calculator to get our calculator answer, let's ensure that our units are correct. Millimoles and millimoles cancels here. Moles and moles cancels here grams and grams cancels here, and I'm left with milligrams, which is what they are requesting for this answer. So now we put it into the calculator and get our final answer and round it to two significant digits. As a calculator answer, I get 2.544 milligrams 
of solute, potassium permanganate, and it needs to be rounded to two significant digits. So this would round to 2.5 milligrams.